Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden 5. Alright, uh, we decided to commence operations. Yes, let's do it. Alright. Alright, we've got a rather interesting battle, the first one where we're going to be fighting both land and sea. So I'm going to take a moment here to uh, get all my units set up, and I'll be back to show you the final result. Alright, I'm all set up here. As you can see, I've pretty much reorganized almost everything. <laughs> Alright, so we got, uh, well, obviously we got Frey, Leon, and Lele there. You can't change that. Uh, we got Kyle, Belkut, and Shinro. Uh, we got Volga, Wassel, and Richard. Talgil, Zagai, and Vicky. Wilhelm Mueller, Wilhelm and Mueller make the Lindworm Mercenary Brigade, the Lindworm Cavalry. I've got Silva with them. I've got a bl an empty ground unit there, for a particular reason. Uh, Norden, Chuck, and Obero there. i got Zarasa, Log, and uh, Syro here. Kisara, Shiguri, and Lun, and then Gesh, uh, Lorelei, and Lucerina. Alright, so first of all, the more most important disclaimer, uh, with regards to Belkut, Zagai, and Norden. If you are ever going to use these three party members in battles, there are more uh, people that this applies to, but these are the only three that we have that it applies to. Um, if you lose that unit, in other words, if, their HP, if that unit's HP gets depleted to zero, they do not retreat. In other words, you will lose those Stars of Destiny. If the infantry here dies, uh, we'll lose Belku, so to speak, for the rest of the game. So, uh, yeah, and unfortunately it does subtract from the Stars of Destiny that you can have at the end of the game. In other words, you'll lose out on the, uh, the perfect ending kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, so just be careful with that. It's just, I'm using it now because, well, I've tweaked this this setup as quite a bit, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just to be able to get the, the best result kind of thing. Um, and as for... Yeah, so I've got the blank ground unit, honestly. I could probably just go with having three or four units for this battle, but unfortunately we're forced to have three infantry, so I figured out. I need, you need one archer and uh, one cavalry for sure, though. Uh, I've got the blank ground unit because, honestly, that one just makes it a bit, bit more complicated more complicated than it needs to be, and also if you, you know, leave this one out, you can actually buff these up a bit more as well than the rest of them. So that's what I did. As far as the sea battles go, I've got, well, yeah, I've just got this stuff here. I've got the barrage split on two different archer ships because for one particular reason we'll go into when we get into the battle. Um, and you might be wondering, why don't I put Richard with the Lindbergh you know, cavalry? Well, obviously Richard has a really nice strength boost, but since the cavalry isn't the only unit we're going to be using, so I figured, you know what, let's put Silva with them. Not only that, because if I were to put Richard with them, they'd probably be able to one-shot most of the uh, cavalry, uh, or not the cavalry, the infantry units that the enemy has. Uh, however, you still lose the HP. So what this does, it will, they're still really a really strong unit, but I've got Silva there to back them up so that after every turn, they regain 10 HP. In other words, they retain they Whatever losses they took in the battle, they get 10 back, kind of thing, so, yeah, and the extra damage that, uh, going into the spears here, well, they're going to be using them quite a bit as well, so they'll be very useful, so, yeah, anyways, a couple of uses of star rune there, and, alright, so that's about it, let's get started. And despite what she just said there, we're going to be controlling both battles. <laughs> I'm pretty much going to leave these guys alone until uh, these guys get sorted out on how they're going to approach us. So yeah, that'll rearrange mine. Uh, as for this, well, what are we facing? Well, we've got two infantry here, and we've got a cavalry unit. The ca obviously, the cavalry are much faster than everybody else, so the cavalry will probably be the first units to be getting up here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be sending... Uh, Talgil and the archers up there, uh, along with the cavalry with them, uh, to take, take care of the first wave kind of thing, and then I've got 
archers right behind there, so I gotta send some uh, infantry with them as well. But uh, yes, and we'll eventually uh, get this sorted out. But anyways, we're gonna be pausing this battle quite a bit because it's gonna be jumping back and forth quite a bit. So anyways, uh, the battle goal is well, we gotta push the enemy ground forces back from the Lalkar, and we lose if Frey is killed. Uh, as for unit details, I'll show you what they've got. As far as their land-faring parties go, they've got three infantry. One of them has a charge ability, which is Zahawk, of course. And they've got one cavalry and two archers. As for the uh, ships, they've got two archers. One is a rune with a flowing rune on it. With the, uh, the, you know, the, the healing capability with it, and it's got a, and they got another one, the barrage, as well. Uh, they've got, the, they got one combat ship and a ram, so there we go. Alright, uh, special stuff. I think there's a few that I can go into. Uh, the Mother Earth that Talgil comes with. It's kind of like the Cyclone. It does the same amount of damage. The only difference is, one, you cannot use it on water, for obvious reasons. And two, it does not heal your heal the unit. So, yeah. Um, as for map-based, we're going to be making use of the Star Rune in this battle. Most likely. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically kind of like the Dawn Rune, only it does more damage, but it does not heal the uh, the allies in range, so keep that in mind. Which is why I've got uh, recovery on both sides kind of thing, so. Anyways, I think, oh yeah, uh, where else? Alright, so Lucerina, she's got Morel, I think I mentioned this, she, it adds 5 attack, and relief, and then kind of went into this, yeah, it restores 10 HP after every, every battle kind of thing, so. Yeah. Alright, and Rumors actually depletes the enemy's defense by 10, so. Awesome. <laughs> so, alright, that's it. Alright, uh, let's make sure we've got this all set up here. Let's get it over there, and let's go. Let's do this. Let's move Talgil up there. Uh, where do I want to put him? Uh, yeah, let's set him right there. Let's get these guys out of the way. He's, uh, he's an old man, and uh, there we go. And let's, so let's move him. Save some time. How are these guys going? The ram going up there, you got the two archer ships and the combat ship. There are uh, items in this game that I will be trying to go after, however, this battle I find is very random and when it ends. Um, so I will be going after them, but if I do not get them, it does not matter. So, yeah. Uh, the two ships that have the items are the combat ship and the uh, rune ship that has the flowing command on it. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go. Continue on. Uh, so tell you directly after. Put these guys back, just in case. There we go. Just a normal battle. Should be able to take out the cavalry in two shots. Ship, I should be able to, in order to take them out, 
one shot of the barrage from each, plus a star rune, should be able to sink it. So, yeah. Uh, like, ultimately, ideally, I want to get it surrounded somewhat, so that when one, you know, they're probably going to uh, try to uh, shoot this barrage off first, and then get it into range of this this one, so that you shoot the barrage off and the star rune off in the sequence. So, kind of thing, so. Alright, let's uh, get this start going here. Let's get the uh, combat ship going there. I think I'll move Frey up as well, but we'll get that stuff going on up there first. Uh, actually, let's, no, let's get these guys out of the way first. is gonna hurt, but luckily I've got Triggers it. It just seems to be random. So, oh well. No big deal about the items. Would have been nice to get one of them, but. Uh Kidding. <laughs> wow. Zahak, one of, you know, 
Farad's one of, one of his closest friends, like... Well, I guess we can see his true colors. The victory plus, but is it even a victory, considering what's going on right now? And we get the Guardian Chain. Yeah, it's another part of the Guardian Armor. So, yeah. What are we going to do about the town? And Volga and Wassel join the party. Which means we gotta boot somebody out, and that person is a Russell. Uh. Oh, okay. Alright. Looks like they're gonna choose to fight us, considering what's going on, but anyways. Godwin soldiers, uh, three archers, three swordsmen, both all, all of them have 1000 HP each, and uh, yeah, so basically I'm just gonna take out the, the archers first, because, well, they can hit the people in the battle, so yeah. Uh, namely, Leon and Vicky, so let's do that, and let's have Vicky use the lightning rod. It'd be nice to see Vicky use her chain magic, but let's we'll see if we won't get it. Alright, we did win the battle though. Alright, looks like we gotta... I guess we gotta get... everybody out of here, somehow.
it starts with Destiny number 44. Number 45. And number 46, but at what cost? Well, I guess we need to figure out if we can help anybody out around here. So I guess we'll have to take care of that next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.